Hello and welcome, as it says on my 2006 World Cup shirt from Germany, to the second part of my Bundesliga review of the jerseys for the upcoming season. And uh, in this installment we're looking mostly at mid-table, if not lower table teams, but there are still quite some interesting jerseys and we'll start off with Frankfurt, supplied by Nike. And I think the only thing that I like about this jersey is the crest. Frankfurt for me is a red and black team. Having a pure black jersey uh, is, doesn't look right to me. At least, And then you have these chevrons in there and then a little bit of striping. At least make this veer striping red and you would go, uh, go on to something. But no, this is just a four star. I even give, no, I even go three stars. I really don't like this one. Um, the away jersey though is very simple, again I would wish for a little bit more red there, um, but yeah, <laughs> it's as simple as it gets. I like the crest, the sponsor also looks okay, um, it's effective I would say. I give this one 6 stars, but sorry Frankfurt, you need to do a little bit with red, at least for this guy here. Uh, especially since when I grew up Frankfurt was actually a good team and they always played in the red and black stripes like my favorite Milan. The team that actually uses red a lot is Freiburg. Um, if you have been to Freiburg, in my opinion, I have not been much to northern Germany, I have not made it further north than I think Köln, Cologne and Leipzig, that kind of line, but Freiburg for me is the nicest town that I've been in Germany. Very energetic, young town, student town, really nice town. And their local team is again in the Bundesliga. Um, and plays here, they have black and white, although the club crest is always in black and white. Uh, they usually play in red at home. And again, by Hummel, uh, very simple jersey with some shadow striping. And I'm sorry, the full color sponsor, although it's a local sponsor that I have to give some props to just doesn't look quite right. Um, and then you have just the collar which doesn't go around. Well, it's a chevron from Hummel. You also have the like the Denmark team, the two-tone Hummel chevrons and then the black sides. Like, I think if it had a nicer sponsor I would go higher, but I think it's... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm pulling, pulling all my sympathy. This is... Uh, yeah, I give this five stars. Uh, the away jersey actually looks better. I think the black just makes everything a little bit pop more, although it's still not much better. But you know, you have a unicolor uni color, you have just a little bit uh, red accents, and black again fits with the color scheme of the club. So, sponsor is horrible. Although, again, it is a local sponsor. I'm gonna give this a seven. And then we move on to further north, Hanover, Saxon 96 in German, Hanover 96, of course. Um, they are an interesting team because their club crest is all in green and black, but their home um, uh, colors are red, which I always find uh, interesting. Very simple jersey, you almost want to go the Freiburg way here. It's a little bit more cohesive, so I give this... Um, yeah, I'm gonna give this a six. I actually like the city flag here. The away jersey plays a little bit more with the club colors, but then you have the headed pattern and the green is a little bit too garish to me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, five, because it's not completely out of character. And then to really uh, kill my eyes, I'm blinded here. Uh, they have the neon green version of that. They just invert the black and the uh, neon green. Ah, this is a four. It's just too bright. Might look great in the stadium, but nah. Too bright. Okay. And then we go something really crazy. Hertha. The capital city team. Uh, they usually play in white and blue stripes. Um, more blue. But what they're doing here... Uh, it makes Atletico Madrid look tame. Adidas really is going crazy here. So you have a three stripe pattern where every third stripe is a solid blue one. 
and the other one either fades blue to white from top to bottom or from uh, bottom to top and then to separate it there's also a little pin strap in there. This is horrible and then the sponsor you know you have the red as an accent color even on the back you see the taping in red white red which actually I like it's the Austrian flag but I think this is uh, in reference to the city of Berlin uh, but then the sponsor with the uh, yellow I'm sorry Hertha I have some sympathies for you, but this uh, Nike, what are you doing here? I gotta go to uh, Atletico Madrid. This is a one star. It's just horrible. This is, it's crazy. Look, just um, if you squint at it, the stripes are all off. It almost looks diagonal. I really don't like this one. And unfortunately, it doesn't get better for the alternate jersey where the same look is in black and vertically. <sighs> This is also a one star. It does. It really does look better, especially if you look on the back and then there's just this little patch of the pattern. Horrible, 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 horrible jerseys. I really don't like this. I really, 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 really don't like this. And I have quite some sympathies for Hertha, but these are the worst. Well, sorry Hertha, I'm gonna skim over you and we go to Hoffenheim. Uh, kind of the the ugly stepchild of the Bundesliga. Uh, Hoffheim is a small village that the SAP owner, which is a major business software, bought and built his huge stadium. And this is the team that he played for as a youth and now they're in the Bundesliga. And they're actually doing quite well. And this is a lotto kit. And as far as I've seen Hoffheim kits, this is about as Hoffenheim as it gets. The colors maybe a little bit copying Nike. It's not exciting, but it also fits with the sponsor quite well. Uh, yeah, again, a six star. Nothing exciting, but it fits well. A little bit more excitement, but I don't know why we have to have, to have it in black and white. Is here. We have a little bit more striping, but it's the Hertha striping almost. Even it's less visible, but if there was more to it, the, uh, it would be even worse. And then you have the blue sponsor. This was, makes not a lot of sense. That's a three star. And then we have the third jersey, which does the same in a maroon with gold. And then a blue shield on there. This is also a mess. I also give this three star. Well, this was very quick, I have to say, but that's how I wanted it to be. Uh, I can talk forever on jerseys and I wanted to keep this short and sweet. Well, let me know what you thought, thought about these jerseys, whether there are jerseys that you want me to talk more about, because I might do this at a later stage. And yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these, especially parts three and four, subscribe to this channel to stay updated. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.